Happy fall, everyone. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create your own custom DIY fall garland for your fireplace mantle. I've got all my supplies out, so let's begin. I've already decorated my over mantle. I swapped out the painting that was there and I switched it for a more rustic wooden wall art that I found at Kirkland's. My blank wall is ready to be transformed. This arched wooden window frame has a natural aesthetic tailored for fall. The slats in the window panes are ideal for hanging my wreath. I embellished my wreath with greenery so it would coordinate with my garland. I threaded my copper ribbon through the center of my wreath, tied it to the top of my wall art, then centered it in the middle of the window frame. Now hung, it's the perfect inspiration piece for my fall mantlescape. If you're planning on decorating above your garland, I suggest doing that first. That way you don't knock it off accidentally or drop something on top of it. This wooden banner was only $3 from Target. I added mini chalkboard rectangles that started out as chalkboard floral picks. I removed the wooden dowel from the back and then glued them to the center of each of the wooden pieces of flag. Now I have a customizable banner that is interchangeable with various seasons, parties, and events. I am using command hooks to hang my garland. By folding my garland in half, I located the center of my garland and placed it securely around the command hook. Next, take your string of lights and wrap it around your garland. Again, fold your string of lights in half so you can find the middle and it will be even on both sides. I'm using battery operated lights, that way I don't have to deal with the excess electrical cords. Weave your lights evenly around your garland this will prevent a big chunk of lights in one area and a sparse amount of lights in another. Next, I'm going to make my garland more substantial and colorful by adding copper and gold ribbon. I layered my ribbon on top of each other. My copper ribbon was wired. I trimmed my ribbon down a bit so that the wire was exposed. I weaved the wire through my gold netting and now I've created a custom ribbon. I secured my ribbon to the command hooks and then wound it loosely around my garland. Leave the ribbon billowy and slack at this point. It makes it easier to move and mold around the garland. Once it's even, you can pull it tighter and trim the ends. Start off with your larger pieces of greenery, spread them out evenly, and then go back with the smaller pieces and fill in the gaps. The focal points of my garland are at the center and each end of my fireplace mantle. I'll place my larger pieces in those areas and straighten them out so they're untangled and hang naturally. Weave and wrap your additional greenery into the garland. This will secure them and seamlessly integrate them into your garland. Another way to securely attach your added greenery is to bend your wire into a hook and then slide it into place. Along with dispersing the different greenery and fall elements evenly, it's also important to be aware that your colors are spread out consistently, so your garland isn't broken up by a large group of one color. Our garland is finished and looks beautiful and professionally done. Now that you have the skills to make your own garland, you can get creative. Make a table runner, coordinating wreath, or decorate a banister. The same decorating concepts will work in a variety of different decorating ideas. For a touch of extra grandeur, I added a fall floral piece to each end of my mantle. The urns were also a DIY. I glued a ceramic vase to the top of a wooden candlestick. This addition enhanced my mantlescape by drawing the eye upward and providing extra balance and scale. I love the glow, warmth, and ambiance candles provide to any setting. For extra height, I flipped over some mercury glass candle votives and set the candles on top. These flicker flame battery operated candles are from Amazon. The final piece is a wooden wicker basket filled with down pillows and a soft luxury throw. These soothing items will keep you cozy and warm as you relax by the fire. My fireplace, hearth, mantle, and overmantle have never looked so warm and inviting. It's a show-stopping display that will demonstrate your amazing talents as a decorator. This harvest scene will delight and charm your friends and family as you entertain for Thanksgiving or other fall activities. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can leave it small and delicate, or you can overflow it with a bountiful fall harvest. No matter how it's done, you'll have a beautiful fall decor piece that's perfect for the season.
If you're interested in where I got most of these decor pieces, check out my fall decor haul. Don't forget to click on the little red subscribe button and see what else is new on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching.